Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a stylish pop art portrait from a photo and how to replace it with another without having to redo the effects. Open a photo of someone you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. The first step is to crop your image to a specific size and resolution so your finished result will look similar to mine. Open your Crop Tool. In its Width field, type in 940px for pixels. For its height, type in 850px. And for its resolution, type in 150 pixels per inch. Check Delete Cropped Pixels, and if you're going to rotate your image, you may want to check Content Aware to fill in the empty areas that may occur along the edges of your rotated image. Since I'm not going to rotate this image, I won't check this option. Drag the Crop's bounding box until you like the way your image is cropped. Then, click the check mark at the top. To fit your image back onto your canvas, press Ctrl or Command 0. Next, we want to separate our subject from its background by making a selection around the subject. For this example, I'll use the Quick Selection tool. If you're using this tool as well, drag it over your subject to select it. To remove areas of the selection outside your subject, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag over those areas. If you're using a version earlier than CC 2015.5, go to Select and Refine Edge. If you're using CC 2015.5 or later, go to Select and Select and Mask. If you're using one of these later versions and would prefer to use Refine Edge, press and hold Shift as you click on Select and Mask. The Refine Edge window will pop up instead of Select and Mask. I did in-depth tutorials on Select and Mask and Refine Edge, so if you'd like to watch them, I provided their links in my video's description below. Check Smart Radius and slide the radius to the right until you start seeing the feathery details of the hair. Output it to a new layer with Layer Mask and click OK. We want to make a new layer below the active layer. To do this, control click or command click the new layer icon. We'll fill the empty layer with white, but first, if your foreground and background colors aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Since your background color is white, press control or command plus delete to fill the empty layer with white. We'll convert our visible image into a smart object, which will allow us to adjust the filters that we'll be adding at any time. It'll also allow us to replace our photo with another without having to redo the effects. Shift-click the top layer to make it active as well, and then open the flyout list. Click Convert to Smart Object. Make two copies of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J twice. Name the top layer Glowing Edges, the middle copy Cutout 2, and the bottom copy Cutout 1. I'll expand the Layers panel down so I can see all of my layers. Temporarily hide the top two layers. To bring out more details in the dark areas of your subject, go to Image, Adjustments, and Shadows Highlights. Keep the shadows at its default amount of 35%. Then, click OK or press Enter or Return. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it 4 pixels. Go to Filter, and Filter Gallery. Open the Artistic Folder and click Cutout. I'll make the number of levels 8, 
the Edge Simplicity 6, and the Edge Fidelity 1. However, feel free to experiment with these amounts. You can always change them later if you want. To save space in the Layers panel, let's collapse the effects. Make the Cutout 2 layer visible and active. Change its Blend Mode to Multiply. Go back to Filter and Filter Gallery. I'll make the number of levels 7, the Edge Simplicity 10, and the Edge Fidelity 1. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Levels. To restrict the Adjustment Layer to just the one layer below it, we need to clip it to that layer. To do this, either click the Clipping Mask icon or press Ctrl-Alt-G on Windows or Command-Option-G on a Mac. I'll drag the input white slider until I like my image's overall brightness. Since every photo is different, let's make it easy for us to identify this particular adjustment layer by hovering your cursor over the eyeball icon and right-clicking your mouse or pen. Pick a color for this layer to easily identify it. Make the top layer visible and active. Go back to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Stylize folder and click Glowing Edges. I'll make the Edge Width 1, the Edge Brightness 9, and the Smoothness 5. But again, feel free to adjust these amounts. Change its Blend Mode to Subtract. To adjust the brightness and contrast of the lines, click the Adjustment Layer icon and again click Levels. Clip it to your Glowing Edges layer. I'll make the Input Blacks 47 and the Input Whites 161. To brighten the dark areas of our subject, first, scroll to the bottom of the Layers panel and shift-click on the Cutout 1 layer to highlight it and all the layers above it. Then, convert all the layers into one smart object. Go to Image, Adjustments, and Shadows Highlights. For this image, I'll decrease its shadows amount to 20%. If you want to see the pop art portrait effect applied to another photo, double click the smart object to open the layers that comprise it, and then double click on any smart object to open the original source image. Go to File and Open. Locate your replacement photo. Click it and click Open. Fit it onto your canvas and, as before, make a selection around your subject. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to your subject. Control click or Command click the New Layer icon to make a new layer below the active layer. Then fill it with white. Shift-click the top layer to make it active as well, and convert the two layers into one smart object. Press V to open your Move tool, and drag your image onto the tab of your smart object. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. To resize and position it, open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. To see the transform's entire bounding box, press Ctrl or Command-0. Go to a corner 
and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it in or out. Drag inside to reposition it. When you're happy with its size and position, press Enter or Return. Then, close its tab. When you see this window, click Yes to save the changes. Click the tab of the Smart Object to instantly see your new portrait with the effects applied to it. To adjust the overall brightness of your new portrait, click the Levels Adjustment layer and slide the input whites until your overall image is bright enough. To brighten the darkest areas, close its tab and click Yes to save the changes. Open the Portrait document to see your updated portrait with the Shadows Highlights Adjustment layer applied to it. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.